and have faith in something that is real that you know about and you know who he is, you know what he can do and thank God he loves you and he's not gonna hurt you whatsoever because Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And so Stephen looked and saw Jesus standing on the right hand of the Father and praised the Lord, no wonder Paul said, for me to live is Christ, for me to die is gain. This is my 82nd Christmas that I've spent on this year, earth. I don't know about the others, but we were kind of a poor family. Uh, we weren't poor, really. We had all we owned to eat. We raised it, and hogs we killed, and we did everything. But I remember we just started little simple things that we had. We'd take an elder bush, and we'd take the pith out of it, and then we would make a pop gun out of it. That was good to get in trouble with at school, real good. Uh, probably young people don't know what I'm talking about. But you put a paper wad in the end of it, you blew air in it, then you took your ramrod with another paper, and boy, you don't think those things are hurt. You try that sometime. But that's, that's, that's what we did. When we killed hogs, we saved the hog bladders, and we put them behind the cook stove and let them dry out. Then we blowed them up and stomped our foot on them just to hear something pop. We didn't have the money to go to town to watch haircuts. We had to do something like that. We made our own entertainment. Make, take barrel slats, barrel staves, and make little ships out of them. Put a string across it and watch it blow down the branch. All that sort of stuff. Matter of fact, there was a time when my dad go out in the yard on Christmas Eve and shoot his shotgun, come back and tell us Santa Claus committed suicide. But that's another story. No, he didn't do, he didn't do that. Well, why don't you put your faith in something that is real? Put your faith in something that you know. How much faith these uh, little kids have got uh, in the old white bearded man and, uh, and come to find out, you know, how it is and disappointment comes. Let me tell you about a man you can have faith in will never disappoint you. Tell you about a man that will never turn you down. A man you can come to him in the middle of the night as you get a song. You can come to him at the midday you can come to him when you're on top of the mountain and got everything you need. Refrigerator's full, the car's got gas in it, you're bringing home money from the job and you got it all. He, you got somebody that you can still go to and say, Lord, I thank you for all this. Don't ever let it separate me from your love. Then when you don't know how you're gonna pay the next bill, see, I've been in these places and especially, not especially that one where you don't know how you're gonna pay the bill. And somebody's sick in the family. You don't know if they're going to get well. And everything is just upside down. And everywhere you turn, it seems like one doorknob breaks and the next one breaks. Everything you touch, it seems just to fall apart. And that happens. I know people right now going through that. They, they, I thought of Sister Lawson this last, last year before last. And when Brother John passed away and two weeks later, her son passed away. And now she's in a, been in a terrible condition, but she's still got hope. She told me, said, I'll be better. I said, I'll be better. See, you've got that faith that you're going to come out of it. Got that faith that things are going to be better. But when you're in the midst of all of that, and some people don't understand why it's happening, just like they did Job, you can look up and say, Lord, I know you're still there. I felt your presence in all of this, and I know you're still there and I know you're still my God, and I'm still your child, and we're gonna get through this, and you're gonna take care of me because I've got faith in you. And strengthen our faith. This last Sunday we'll have in this year. May have one next year, or may not. May have, may have a church next Sunday, may not. May all be going to heaven to save. But I wanna tell you something. If we do, let's bring our faith to next year. Let's bring it with us, and let that be the greatest year that we ever had in the Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus is real. As we stand and sing this morning, if you have a need. We've anointed people. We've anointed cloths. 